Here we have the plan and elevation of a hexagonal pyramid, which we're going to do the development of. Now, because it's a pyramid, we have to use radial line development. For radial line development, we're going to use an arc. So I'm going to go to my arc tool, center start end, center start, which would be the long side of the pyramid. I'm going to scribe an arc. Um, a little more than, let's say, half should do it. I'm going to trim it after. Now, radial as there would be rays coming out. So, what we need to do is to get the perimeter of the base of this pyramid onto this arc. So, this pyramid here has a hexagonal base, and what it's 15 units long. So, what I want to do. I'm going to measure out 15 units. I'm using the same arc tool. I'm going to use the center. All right, and I'm going to put in my measurement 15 and do an arc. So I need to get six of these. So I'm going to repeat the process. Measurement is 15. That's 2. And I'm going to keep going until I get 6. So there we have our 6 Markovs. And this would be equal to our 6 sides from our plan and which is the perimeter of the base of our pyramid. So let's get a line in here. So basically this shape here all right would be the perimeter the development and give us a development of our, our pyramid before it was cut. Um, one thing is going to be needed um, since our pyramid has seams. We generally show where the seams were with a hidden line. All right, so from zero to six would be the shape, the development of this pyramid if it wasn't cut. But now we're going to show how it will look with the cut. Very important, um, we're going to pull some other arcs and most important, all the arcs must come from this one line here, which we took our first line. So the cuts must be represented onto this line and we're going to do that. First of all, with some horizontal lines. So all the points. And just put this line. Yeah. All right. 
So what we're going to do now, we're going to go back to our art tool, make sure we are using the center start end, center, start, and we're going to draw some arcs. That's going to come from all our points. Right, so this is where our numbering system comes in. We're going to draw a straight line. First, let me get the base. Now, since it's a hexagonal pyramid and the base has straight line, so we're going to get it from there. And our development, so we're starting at zero, then we go to one, zero, one, to two and two, and it goes to three, goes to four, five, and six. All right, so since our development has been cut, I'm just going to trim these seams here. I'm going to use the trim tool. Okay, so there we have the development of our truncated hexagonal pyramid.